Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get into today's video. So I'm pretty sure that everyone who loves a cup of coffee loves a custom mug. Bit of sass, uniqueness. Not a plain mug. So here's a secret. A custom mug brightens your day, adds personality, sass to your life. So today, we're going to be making our own custom mug. This is my vinyl cut program here. I'm going to be using a custom dimension workspace for this design that I'm using. So you'll see I'm just selecting it in millimeters and clicking OK. So here's my workspace already. And I'll go File, Import. I like to use a PDF because it's what works with this program. And there we go, easy as that. So I'm just positioning it and making it slightly smaller. I just want it to fit within this workspace. I can leave it the same size, but I decided to make it just slightly smaller. And now here we are at my table. I'm just going to be using blue for this. I like this Oracle 651 vinyl and it works really well. Here I am weeding out the vinyl that I've just cut. Everything cut perfectly and I'm super happy. So this cut perfectly and as you can see these little letters are so tiny and um, let's actually measure that and see how small they really are so you can get an idea of how well this vinyl cutter cuts because these little letter spaces are I mean what is that like can't even tell it's so small like two mils, maybe a mil. Yeah, I'd say like a mil. <laughs> one mil. Like I literally have a letter that is one millimeter wide, and it cut perfectly. So wonderful. Great. After I've weeded out the vinyl, I can now apply my transfer tape. I've got this big bulk roll that I use. So I'm just opening up a little piece 
and I usually keep the sticky side up because that's what's um, easier for me and I'm applying it from one side to the other side pressing it firmly down. Once I've applied the vinyl, I'll just be cutting it off the roll and then closing up the roll and saving the rest for another time. And now to apply the vinyl to the mug, I'm making sure that I press down on the design so it transfers to the tape all in one go and then it's easy to take off. So I'm just putting the mug down to position the design. I cut the transfer tape straight so it's very easy to position without needing to think or lift or do anything other to the design then just put it down so I put it down from the center and I move my way outwards and then I'll be pressing it down with my squeegee tool again and then when I remove the transfer tape I make sure that I remove it flush like you'll see here with the design this makes sure that everything stays on and nothing lifts up after that also using the Oracle Vinyl. Oracle Vinyl is, in my opinion, one of the best vinyls I've found and it's really good quality. So there it is, design on a mug. I love how it turned out. It turned out so well and I'm always super impressed with how my vinyl cutter cuts. Thank you so much for watching. My mug and I picked out some videos that we think you'd like. Be sure to check out my other vinyl cutting videos as well as some crafty paper videos. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in our next one. Bye!